everyone. My name is Miho Yoshikawa. Um, I work for UNICEF Cambodia as Child Protection Specialist. Today, I'm going to talk about how Cambodia provided mental health and psychosocial support services for children, caregivers, and frontline workers during the COVID-19 pandemic. While there was a huge need for mental health and psychosocial support in the context of COVID-19, the containment measures made it really difficult for us to reach those in need with face-to-face -face counseling services. Adapting to the context of COVID-19, UNICEF Cambodia used innovative solutions to provide direct mental health and psychosocial support services and also supportive messaging to the, to the wider community. Recognizing uh, COVID-19 response was cross-sectoral in nature, uh, UNICEF Cambodia also integrated mental health and psychosocial support into the existing program interventions in close coordination with other sectors, such as health, education, and communication for development. Let me give you a bit of context in the country. So since the COVID-19 began to spread in, the, in Cambodia, the government imposed containment measures, including closure of schools and restrictions in movement, and also suspension of uh, non-essential activities. So these containment measures uh, combined with the widespread fear of spreading virus in local communities led to the um, limited capacity of government and NGO workers to provide essential services uh, for vulnerable children and families, including mental health and psychosocial support and also child protection services were largely suspended by the government and also NGOs, and especially the, the services involving face-to-face -face service provision and also gathering of beneficiaries, such as home visit and also individual case management. In such a context, to provide direct mental health and psychosocial support services, UNICEF Cambodia established an innovative partnership with the NGO, which is called TPO, specializing in mental health and psychosocial support to offer counseling services for children and caregivers with uh, uh, phone hotlines and also Facebook messengers. And psychiatric treatment was available for those who are really struggling. And also the, these services were available for frontline workers, such as uh, um, social workers and also the residential care staff. Second, um, UNICEF Cambodia also adapted the positive parenting program. This positive parenting program has been implemented since 2017 by the Cambodia's Ministry of Women's Affairs with support from UNICEF. The program aims to reduce um, harmful parenting practices such as corporal punishment through the uh, uh, group-based sessions with vulnerable parents and caregivers in the local communities and also specialized parenting support including home visits. And since COVID-19 happened, these home visits and also the uh, positive parenting sessions were largely suspended. To fill in this gap, UNICEF Cambodia um, strengthened existing partnership with the NGO specializing in the parenting support to conduct community awareness raising campaigns using loudspeakers. And this way we were able to reach those who have limited capacity and access to the internet and also phone services with key messages on mental health and psychosocial support and also positive parenting and COVID-19 prevention. Third, UNICEF Cambodia integrated mental health and psychosocial support programs across sectors such as health, education, and communication for development. For instance, UNICEF Cambodia developed a comprehensive package of mental health and psychosocial support messages adapted to the COVID-19 context. These messages have been disseminated through multiple channels together with the information on COVID-19 prevention. For example, the, it's also integrated into back-to-school campaign to prepare schools and teachers to respond to emerging mental health and psychosocial support needs when schools reopen. We are also working to build the capacity of the workforce across sectors, including medical practitioners, social workers, and teachers to deliver a different level of mental health and psychosocial support services. Let me give you a very short example. Um, 
which is a personal story of female NGO worker providing uh, child protection services for children and families in the communities. So when COVID-19 happened, she got like a too much workload um, to support vulnerable children in the communities. And also she got lots of burden at home as her husband started working from home and also her children started doing online courses at home due to school closure. So there was a growing tension at home and everybody started feeling stressed out and also uh, having a fear of the getting virus. And also like she started having emotional conflict or fight um, with uh, her husband every day. And she started getting angry so easily at her children. She also feel, uh, felt very bad for not being able to provide uh, good guidance for children in terms of online learning because these technologies were also quite new to her. So she, um, she called the, the hotline run by the NGO TPO and received counseling services by a dedicated counselor. So this counselor provided mental health and psychosocial support messages adapted to the COVID-19 context. So this includes um, how to support psychosocial well-being of children and also how to care for herself and anger management and family harmony. So these are quite important. And then after series of counseling services through hotline and also the follow-up by the NGO, she feels much better now. And also she has less fight uh, with her husband. And also um, she feels energized uh, to work for vulnerable children in the communities. So this story shows how important it is to provide mental health and psychosocial support for frontline workers. In summary, in the context of COVID-19, where face-to-face -face service provision was largely suspended, UNICEF Cambodia adapted the current programming and established new partnerships to provide a tiered range of mental health and psychosocial support services in close coordination with different sectors. This started from supportive messaging to uh, family support for parenting, to one-on-one -on -one psychological support for those in need of more intensive interventions. And as a result, we were able to reach more than 3.2 million children, caregivers and frontline workers. And at the same time, despite this success, we have also faced some challenges. I do look forward to sharing these challenges and also lessons learned with all of you and learning from you at the annual meeting for the future improvement of the programming uh, for children in Cambodia. Thank you so much.